everybody, my name is Drew. I'm Pam. And welcome back to another episode of the Kokomo Post Tries partnered with Gravity Trampoline Park. And today we are at Petite Patisserie in downtown Kokomo to try an extra special tasting menu called Holiday Abroad. We're really excited to be here. We are, and Drew, it's special in many ways. I'm excited to try this Holiday Abroad menu yeah. and we brought our entire team here. Actually, yeah. we brought both teams. Our yes. team from the Kokomo Post as well as our team from our sister company, Larison Media. Yes, yeah, so we've got the whole squad here today. We are about to be spoiled with some delicious goodies of holidays around the world. So let's meet up with Stephanie, the owner, and she's gonna explain everything to us and explain what we're gonna be trying today. So here we are with Stephanie Masuda, the owner of Petite Patisserie. So tell us this whole tasting menu, tasting dinner idea is new to mm -hmm. the restaurant. So tell us all about it, why'd you start? Yeah, so we started in October. Um, we usually do about six courses of tasting meals. So. So far we've done a Harry Potter themed, we did an Indiana themed last month. Um, our first month was My Root, so it was Southern Classic. Um, we try and like theme it up to the month. So this one was an obvious choice for holiday abroad. Um, and then next month is going to be all about New Year's resolutions. So it's going to be a vegan and gluten free menu. Love so we that. just try and kind of keep it a little bit themed um, and just a little bit more upscale than you can get in Kokomo. I love that, very cool. So Stephanie, tell us about this holiday abroad menu. What will we be trying today? Yeah, so you try a uh, cuisine that is traditional to like the winter holiday time from countries around the world. So we really tried to highlight um, every major continent. We've got Europe, we've got Scandinavia, we've got um, some Asian, we've got some Latin American, we've got African cuisine. So you get a little bit of everything. Um, we're just going to work our way down. We start off with latkes um, and then end on some gingerbread. Um, so a very traditional kind of gingerbread style. Awesome. I am so excited. We're about to go around the world for the holidays. Let's get the squad, let's sit down, and let's start trying some things. Okay, we're here with our team, and these are people you may not see on camera, but they are an important part of our team at the Kokomo Post and Larryston Media. I'll have them introduce themselves. Hi, I'm Heidi. I'm Macy. I'm Anne-Marie. I'm Joe. <laughs> all right, well, we're all here, and Stephanie is about to bring out the first course. Okay, so what you have right here is a latka. This would be from um, Eastern Europe. You've got a potato pancake with dill, and on top you have sour cream, smoked salmon, and some more dill. Cheers. 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 <laughs> Opa. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's crispy, it's mm. creamy. I love the smoked salmon on top. That is delicious. The Fox. dill is really good. Mm -hmm. Love the dill in there. Mm -hmm. The salmon's not too overpowered. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. Crunch just yeah, the it's crunch. right. <laughs> love the crunch. Yeah. Okay, so what you've got in front of you now is japchae from Korea. So this is a glass noodle dish, which means it's made with a sweet potato starch instead of actual gluten. And then you've got mixed vegetables, some seaweed, sesame, and scallions. of the fresh vegetables gets, gets it a lot of extra flavor. 10 out of 10. So this is mono. It's a very traditional um, dish from Greece. So this is a lemon and chicken and rice soup. It is um, very delicately spiced. It only has salt and pepper in it. Mm -hmm. So you really let the flavor shine. This this spoon, correct? Yeah. Got it. Mm -hmm. I, I just look at Pam and whatever she picks up, I pick up. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Really good. You really can like taste the good soup. Cake. Good soup. Oh man. Like, How does this make you feel? That's delicious. Warm and fuzzy. Mm -hmm. Usually soups have like a lot of salt. This is like like what Stephanie said, like really delicately seasoned, and it really um, lets the lemon flavor in the soup shine. I'm not a soup person. That's really good. The lemon comes strong through, which usually lemon and chicken. I don't really taste the lemon that much. It's an afterthought. It's really good. This one is gonna be Le Chan. This is a typical dish from the Philippines. It is a crispy pork belly, and it is served cold with a little bit of chimichurri sauce. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. I wish we had that ASMR. Is... That was so crunchy. The, the salty from the pork, the yeah. crunchy, man. Well, just the pork belly is so rich. Mm -hmm. It's, I mean, it was awesome. Thick bacon, basically. Gosh, love that. I it's just love so that. much flavor at once. It yeah. Awesome. Mm -hmm. 
Gravity Trampoline Park is Indiana's premier indoor trampoline park, but it's also the easiest, most fun way to celebrate a birthday or special event in Kokomo. Let Gravity take care of the setup, cleanup, and all the details, giving you more time to create outrageously fun memories with your kids. Each party features 60 minutes of jump time, a private VIP room, jumping socks for all the jumpers, food, beverages, and more. You can customize a package that's perfect for your group and spend time jumping, bouncing, zip lining, and celebrating. But Gravity isn't just for kids. With the all-new adventure and ninja courses, plus the beer, wine, and adult lounge, Gravity makes the perfect spot for a holiday party, family reunion, or other memorable event. They do private rentals as well as several styles of fundraisers for schools and organizations. Spots book up quickly, so don't delay and call today. For more information, visit gravitycocomo.com. Okay, so this is your Dora Wat. It is a traditional Ethiopian dish, so it is from Africa. Um, typically it is served with like a, a hand bread called injera. It is made with a 15 blend spice mix that is made in-house here. Um, and it is a little bit floral, a little bit spicy. It's nowhere near as spicy as they would traditionally serve it. Mm -hmm. That's delicious. I, really like it. I love it. It's the spices. Definitely gives me like Indian food, curry vibes. I haven't had a lot of African food, but there's kind of this, um, it's not sweet, but there's kind of a richness. It's almost like a nutmeg or a cinnamon. Mm -hmm. This is fabulous. The flavor on this, it's just so rich. You get like, you can taste almost all the flavors. Okay, so this is sauerbrat and this is a traditional German dish. On the bottom, you have a German potato salad, which means it's dressed with vinegar instead of traditional American, which is dressed in mayonnaise. On top, you have roast beef and then a gingerbread gravy. As someone who recently had German potato salad, it German does taste potato. like German potato salad. <laughs> I love German potato salad. It's really, really interesting. Ooh, I love this. Hardness of the vinegar really mm -hmm. well. So this is Risa Lamand. It is a traditional dish from Denmark. It is a rice pudding. Uh, the fun thing about Risa Lamand is very traditionally there is chopped almonds in your rice pudding. Mm. However, one of you has a whole almond and whoever has the whole almond in their dish gets a prize. Mm. So it's kind of a fun thing. So keep on the lookout for a whole almond. Dang. Ooh, how fun. Oh, just chopped. You find it by eating it, you know. Oh. Well, ooh, that's delicious. <laughs> I hope. Wow. Please, please. Please yum. eat the whole almond. Yum, yum, yum. So many textures. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I love this. I think that's a whole almond. <clears throat> and wins the prize! Is that a whole almond? <laughs> ah! Do I eat it? Do I redeem it for a prize? <laughs> <laughs> wow. So we gave away Christmas ornaments, so Aww. you will be able to remember Quincy. Thank oh, you. Oh, How beautiful. Oh, Thank you. Wow. For your last course, um, a fruitcake type thing is traditional to very many countries. So this is a gingerbread cake, and then on top you have a sticky toffee um, and rum sauce. This tastes like Christmas. It's spicy, classic gingerbread, but it has a little bit of a twist. I love that toffee rum sauce on top. The texture is really good. It's um, light and airy. Perfect cake. All right, so normally at the end of these episodes, we pick our favorite thing they had. And normally, Pam, we're trying maybe two, maybe yep. three, max four things. Yeah, we had double that today. So this was extremely difficult to pick our favorite thing. But Pam, go ahead. What was your favorite thing? I'm gonna have to go with the japchae, that glass noodle, the Korean vegetables, and the sesame. I loved it. Yeah. I'm gonna go with the japchae as well. The texture of the noodles was so good with the crunch of the vegetables. My favorite was the rice pudding from Denmark. Uh, it wasn't too sweet, but it was so many textures in one. It was my favorite for sure. My favorite was the sour broughton and potatoes. Um, I thought it was sweet but savory and the vinegar wasn't too overpowering, so it was really good. I really like the lechon. It's the, um, the pork belly. It was so crunchy and there was so much flavor. I think I have to go with the Dora Wat, which was the Ethiopian dish. Um, if you guys watched the show before, you know I love Indian food and that reminded me a lot of like a really good Indian dish, so I had to go with that. So thanks again for watching this video. If you're interested in booking one of these uh, tasting menu experiences, you still can. Just go over to the Petite Patisserie's Facebook page for all the information. Highly recommend. We had an awesome experience today, so I'd much. say. Yeah? Yeah, we did. And again, special thanks to Chef Stephanie from Petite Patisserie. Remember, there are still spots available for this December-only menu, and be sure you keep an eye out 
out for menus in the future. So thank you for watching another episode of the Kokomo Post Tries partnered with Gravity Trampoline Park. Leave a comment below where we where you think we should go next and we'll see you there.